Hello everybody. Welcome to video number three. Uh, here in Houston on a Saturday, it's very, very rainy outside. Uh, some would say it's a very non-eventful Saturday, if you will. Very just, the weather is not so great, but we're kind of under the overhang over here. And we're going to do some layer building on uh, this piece behind me. It's called Fiery Wolves. It's 72 by 48. So just do some layer work on it. Uh, kind of some color field stuff. Uh, large color field painting, if you will. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you like what some layering work looks like. Some live painting. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to try to explain the piece a little bit. So it started off, um, there's a lot of layering and a lot of building and a lot of give and take that is involved with large scale work. Um, so the painting started off with just, just some basic primer and I started building with cement. I take some flooring compound or some cement and I build a lot of texture. So it's a mixed media piece, it's not just paint. So you have uh, so you have primer, you have cement, you have oil paint, charcoal, acrylic, latex, house enamel, which is what I'm working with right now. This is just pure white, pure white house paint uh, that I have in a, one of my cement containers. But anyway, it's just a, it's a layering process a push and a pull um, until you yield your uh, your desired aesthetic, if you will, or your or your finished result. But it's a very that's that's a that's a process that takes time. You know, one painting may take uh, several days. Another painting may be you know living its life in the attic somewhere, and you don't look at it till with, you won't look at it with fresh eyes until maybe a whole month or two later, you know? Um, every painting is different, but, so it's a, it's definitely a, a layering process. Um, a push and a pull. You add, you subtract. Uh, sometimes a painting's not speaking to you or it doesn't really know what direction it wants to go. But, uh, but yeah, today we're just working with pure white house paint and I'm uh, adding some layers to it and seeing if it'll talk to me and if it wants to do something. Um, I'm really liking where it stands right now. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but 
uh, in person this work has uh, quite the presence and quite the personality so far but I, I think that comes with just the scale of it it's 72 inches tall by 48 wide um, but yeah I just wanted to show you guys some just some layering stuff with some white paint quite enjoyable painting outside it gives you uh, a break from the indoor studio and like i said it's really rainy a rainy saturday we have on our hands today but i'm under the overhang so i'm not getting wet or anything and i got some nitro natural light coming in so uh natural light's always good because you can see the values of and the colors of the paint for what they are you know they're not like yellowed or like uh, misconstrued artificial light but it shows like what the painting actually is supposed to look like when it's in natural lighting um but anyway give me some feedback do you like the work where it stands do you think it needs more work um not that you know that's gonna dictate or steer the direction of the piece but it's just um your opinion is valued your feedback give me some comments give me some likes you know click subscribe we've got a lot of content and a lot of videos to come in the future concerning painting and concerning art um but yeah thank you for watching and uh once again, this piece is titled Fiery Wolves. It's 72 by 48. Usually I don't title a painting until I know for sure it's completely done, but um, this painting, that name and that title kind of stuck with me. So I'm gonna, I'm, it's gonna keep that title whether it changes uh, a little bit or not compositionally. Uh, but once again, thank you for watching and Here's where the painting stands right now.